Son of y'all in that hill. Oh, oh, look at that snow. <laughs> right. Um, hopefully it ain't too muddy. It's a bit wet. We're gonna be cold going down here. Hopefully I don't have to do too many separate videos because I'm obviously I'm gonna do separate videos from when we reach the tunnels because I don't want to max out my memory on this thing. That happened last time and I don't want to happen again because I want to record the whole thing. Last time we got to Cross Creek and I couldn't see anything. And also last time and it was a really bad view. All you could see was my chest because I didn't have the head clamp. Hopefully no one's coming up. Oh, you got two more, mate. You got two more. Hopefully they know. I jinxed it too. Oh, I feel bad. Hopefully no one's coming up. I go around the corner and he's right there. Put the brakes on. Always brake before a turn, not during or after. Because if you brake after, you're either dead or you're somehow tilting your way through. There's a lot of ruts. I do not like this, but we're, we're going to deal with it. Stay in the middle. Jump, 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 jump. Dodge. We've had a lot of wind and water around, so yeah. Uh, how quick is this tunnel? Uh, I'll, I'll go through this one. Oh god. You're not going to be able to see anything in a second, by the way. Oh god, I don't like this. This tunnel is horrible. Hey, I see the lights. Yeah, I'm going to not video stuff here. Oh goodness. You got two more coming, mate. You got two more. Yep. Oh, I'm not going on that. Oh. Right, Tunnel Gully. Again. <laughs> Second video, I just, yeah, couldn't make the bridge. Too windy today. Oh, it's gravelly. Anyway, Bailey's now ahead of me. <laughs> This isn't going to be good. I expect to find him in the next tunnel. Because we have a rule, you either wait. If you find an intersection, tunnel, or you're just too far ahead, you wait. And it's bloody windy today. God, I hope you hear how loud that is. Holy! Whoa! That's the reason why I don't do swing bridges. Because, yeah, nah. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Yeah. Kind of funny how I jinxed it earlier. I hope we don't meet anyone. Goes around the corner and finds two people. Oh man. Oh, tunnel. Slow down. Hopefully this one. I'm pretty sure this one's straight. Oh no, this one's curved as well. Great. Hopefully I can see who it is. Just go slow. Just go slow. Just go slow. Just go very slow. Right. I can see the lights. We're at the end. There he is! I can't see you, you camos! Don't stand there, Ian won't, Ian won't see you. <laughs> Bailey, Bailey's not even wearing a camouflage top like he was last time we did this right a year ago. But his green top blends in so well. Oh, he's got the wind! Oh, holy! Uh, well, at least he's out of the way. I am now ahead of the game. Obviously, yeah. Anyway, I am in the front of the group, so this should be fun. Hopefully, uh, I don't run into a gust of wind that's going to wipe me off my bike. Gusty winds like we have today, and gravelly roads like they've done to it, they're not a good combo. Because if you're carefully leaning into a gravel turn, and the wind comes, no matter what direction it's coming from, it's going to tip you one way or another. No breaks needed. Hopefully this isn't a tunnel up here. Pretty sure it isn't. Pretty, you can find signposts near tunnels like that one, but that one doesn't have a thing on it anymore, so they must have just given up on it. Please tell me there's no tunnel down here. Because it makes me slow down for no reason. No tunnel? Okay, good. Sweet. Now, from what I remember, this bit is really annoying. Oh, for a windproof jersey, I'm so hella cold. Oh, this is what I like to call stabbing wind. You have a wind.
windproof jersey on, but it still won't get you. Oh, get out of that stuff. You can see where everyone's just gone down or up this hill. <laughs> still going down. I'm allowed to go as far as I can ahead because I'm trying. I'm not trying to go fast, fast. But I'm trying to. Since I'm videoing it, I'm trying to get it in the least amount of takes possible. Well, not takes, but seconds. But that requires me to, if I need to turn another second, it requires me to stop. Now, I, the last second I do is going to stop at Cross Creek and then go from Cross Creek. So, yeah. Which is pretty much the bottom. But Cross Creek is really fun. So I'm hoping my memory doesn't max out before I get there. Because that would be very sad. This bit's always been bumpy, so I'm going to be careful now. And also, I want to see how quickly I can get down the hill. Because it should be fun. But I will stop across Creek for them. my videos, Cross Creek is like uh, the little pump track at like those little rolling berms in your winery secret tracks. It's just this little hidden track that's so fun for mountain biking. But it's made for walking. It's made to share. So it's a walking biking track, but it's real fun to bike. Because you've got these rocks and mud holes that you just jump over. It's so fun. Oh, it's cold. Oh, that's cold. <laughs> oh god. Yup, stabbing wind. Today's weather forecast is brought to you by MTV Baku. Sun <laughs> Post, we're near Cross Creek. Cross Creek down there boys, here we go. Oh, thick gravel, get out of that. Get out of it. Right, Cross Creek is like half a kilometer away. Which in flight terms is like five seconds worth. Not that I got 100 meters per second anyway. Bump. Okay, has the rock been cleared? And when I say rock, I just mean big stone, really. Last time I came flying down here, I dodged it with my front tire, but my back tire hit a massive rock. Anyway, that's cross. We're here, cross group, boys. Let's go. Hopefully, I still have a lot of memory. Anyway, I'll see you in the next segment. Yeah! Okay, Cross Creek, here we go. Uh, this has ups and downs. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> um, and, figure, and mentally. So, I've crashed many times on here when I was younger. So, I'm always a bit skeptical in certain spots. So, yeah. Just a bit where I just about fell off a cliff. <laughs> oh, well, not cliff, just a bank where it was like straight into water. Oh, rockiness! Oh, so much softer with this bike. Last time I came on here, I was on my old bike, this giant stance. And it has a little bit, le a lot less travel than this does. Travel meaning how much your forks can impact, how much of an impact you can handle. Well, not that exactly, it's how far in your forks and suspension can go. Well, I should fly down here to this, this time. Yep, yeah, uphill. And the uphill side even bit, because this is mainly supposed to go down. Cross Creek is at 272 feet of elevation, and I think we're to where we're going is about 50 feet. So, yeah, pretty far down still to go. Oh, oh, that was dodgy. That was really dodgy. Oh man. Okay, so last time I came through there, back there, people, I'm probably going to slow motion that bit. Uh, <laughs> uh, that used to be a bunch of bits where you could just jump over a bunch of rockiness. Now, <laughs> you used to, uh, we've had a lot of wind and rain around Wellington region, around the Wellington region. And uh, I don't know if you, if you look back over it again, it's all eroded itself away. So I practically just jumped over what's like an advanced trail type rubble of a trail. The whole trail was like, one section was like a half a meter above the other, and I practically just did a skinny meter gravel. 
and then jumped while dodging a bowler. Oh, good. Oh man, I'm so slow mowing that. It was more surprise than it was skill. I didn't even know what I was doing, I was just trying not to face farm it because of all the ruts that were made because they're deep enough for my tire to get stuck in. Okay, so around here was some orange wiring, my handlebars got caught and I crashed. Now, that's like four years back, but I landed right on the edge of the trail on the cliff side. Yeah, here, right here. And that's a pretty big drop from when I was little. Because I've always been afraid of heights my entire life. So, yeah. And it hasn't gone away. I'm still deathly, deathly, deathly afraid of string bridges. Oh, it could have been this one. One of the two of these. I know I had orange wire on the side of the cliff that was visible. Might be one of them. Pretty sure there's three six and stuff like that. Uh, how was moving. Yeah, we should be good now. Hopefully I can make that bridge. Oh no, there's this one here. What's the cliff like on this? Oh no, 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 it was this one here. Because I tried to go, this slip bit used to be bigger. I tried to go over it and then hit my hand of us. Tried to dodge it, I mean. Yeah. Oh, no, it's right for here with my helmet, but it's not working. Oh, downhill. I've got to be careful though, because this isn't just a downhill track. This is a shared trail and it's always two-way, no matter where you are. So, yeah. And I'm the one who's supposed to slow down if anyone comes near me. Oh, Shrek Swamp on the right. <laughs> on the right, you will witness Shrek Swamp. It is not much you near there, so you better get out. Out of this swamp, my... Oh, the hell. Oh, guys. Wasn't prepared for it. Knew that one was there. Ooh. We've come all the way up from um, I've just done today. Uh, this is the end of the ride. Uh, if you follow me on Strava, you would have seen that I've come from Harcourt Park all the way up and over over the Rimataka Incline. So we've done a decent ride today. We've been a little bit slow because we had a pie for lunch halfway down the trail. I mean, halfway through. But, uh, all things considered, we did pretty well. My granddad and Bailey are behind me somewhere. They're probably about two kilometers back. But, yeah. This is fun. I'm in the car. Thanks for watching! Bye!